Good evening, folks. My name is Amiibo Jason, and welcome to another installment of the Nintendo Wiretap, this time for the evening of January 23rd, 2018. We have a lot of news to cover tonight, so let's get right into it. Coming in at number one today, an image of Nintendo's headquarters from 1890 surfaced online today. If you're a bit of a history buff, this story might be for you. Now, it's hard to imagine that Nintendo got its start making playing cards in Japan over 120 years ago. Few companies were able to stand the test of time quite like Nintendo has, evolving decade after decade to stay relevant in an ever-changing world with people who had ever-changing tastes. But if you've been waiting for the opportunity to see how the Big N got its humble beginnings in the world of business, look no further. An image of Nintendo headquarters in Tokyo, Japan, dating all the way back to 1890 has surfaced online today thanks to Twitter. It's absolutely amazing after all of these years an image so full of history and sentimental value like this can finally make its way online. It's nice to see that little unexpected surprises like this can still pop up every now and then, and for me personally, being a lifelong Nintendo fan, seeing how Nintendo started their company like this gives me hope that one day even the smallest venture can turn into a big deal. What do you guys think about this? Do you think it's a cool looking building? Are you excited to see something from Nintendo's past? Let us know in the comments down below. Coming up next today, we actually have two Pokemon Go stories to tell you about. February's Pokemon Go Community Day features Dratini. We hope you guys had a blast getting out on the first ever Pokemon Go Community Day and caught tons of surfing Pikachus for your collections. Niantic has gone ahead and let us in on some details about February's Community Day now that January's event is over, and in my opinion, it's even more exciting than the Pikachu one. For those of you who have been walking around with Dratini for those Dratini candy like I have, February's featured Pokemon will be the original Dragon Pokemon itself, Dratini. Taking place from 2 p.m. Eastern until 5 p.m. Eastern on February 28th, Dratini will be available in mass quantities along with three times the amount of earned Stardust and lures that last three hours. They haven't yet announced the special move that this Dratini will know, but if surfing Pikachu was any indication, it's bound to be something cool. Now, if that's not enough for you, over 20 new Pokemon are also coming to Pokemon Go today. Starting today, Pokemon trainers around the globe will be able to find and capture 23 new Pokemon from the Hoenn region in Pokemon Go. Just a heads up, at the time of this recording, this update is indeed live right now, so if you want to go find these new Pokemon, go ahead and do it. But I need to know, are you guys still playing Pokemon Go? Are you excited to find even more monsters in your neck of the woods? Let us know in the comments down below or on our Twitter account. We'd love to know what you guys think of Pokemon Go now that it's in its second year. Coming in at number three today, Nintendo supposedly applied for several new Animal Crossing trademarks. For the past year or so, anytime there's any Nintendo announcement, it's inevitable to see the masses pining for a new Animal Crossing announcement. In all honesty, I can't blame them. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm hoping to see one soon too. While I'm not going to get my hopes too high, some interesting developments in the franchise have surfaced in the form of new trademarks. According to a blog post from Japanese Nintendo, Nintendo has applied for several more trademarks in relation to Animal Crossing. These trademarks include software for a home console, portable electronic game machine, and smartphone device, as well as plenty of merch including stuffed animals, controllers, board games, playing cards, carrying cases, and trading card games. This information should all be taken with a grain of salt, obviously, but it's certainly interesting to see trademarks for so many different things and not just one single game. We'll make sure to let you know as soon as there's any new information on this one, but personally, what do you guys think? Are you excited for a new Animal Crossing? Are you still playing Pocket Camp? Is that enough to hold you over? Again, let us know in the comments down below. Next up tonight, we have some new Super Mario Odyssey concept art to take a look at. Earlier this month, Nintendo promised it would share Super Mario Odyssey concept artwork via its franchise-specific UK and Japan Twitter accounts 
throughout 2018. It kicked off with a look at early Mario and Cappy sketches, and now we're getting a peek at even more. For starters, there's some info on Mario's vessel of choice in the new game, the Odyssey. While it goes without saying, the ship is based on a top hat, the color scheme apparently has red to represent Mario, and white to represent Cappy. We also get a far more substantial look at Toasterina's development too. One of the coolest pieces of information from this concept art is it appears that instead of the original inhabitants of this world, they were supposed to be cactus people, which in my opinion would have been pretty darn amazing. Now the Japanese account shares even more information highlighting the locals, Mario's sombrero outfit, and even the Moai. I absolutely love this concept art, especially the picture of Mario, he's so cute and colorful. I absolutely love the direction they went with this art. Now we'll be sure to let you guys know once there's any more artwork that has been released by Nintendo. Stay tuned to Nintendo Wire for more details. Next up tonight, Pokemon Center is gearing up for Valentine's Day with a bunch of brand new merchandise. Happy Valentine's Day, or Single Awareness Day, or Galentine's Day, however you want to celebrate February 14th, the North American Pokemon Center site has a few new goodies you can buy. Whether you're looking for a gift for somebody or yourself, all of this new merch is well worth taking a look at. Let's see what we have this year. The Pokemon Center's Valentine's Day cards are offered in new designs this year and include some extra special flair. With a pin of a beloved Pokemon and a cute saying, you can now gift something that someone will love forever. 2018's edition features Pikachu, Rollet, Mew, Mewtwo, and Charmander. The set of five is $19.99, and keep in mind that you can also tear off the individual cards or keep them together as a set. Now the featured power couple for this holiday is Mew and Mewtwo. Given how puny their names can be in the proper context, it's perfect. They're the stars of matching set products. First up is a pair of coffee mugs for $24.99. The next features the same pattern on a pair of socks, priced at $12.50. This is where I think people are gonna get more excited. Now there is an amazing Pikachu heart flower plushie that I think a lot of people are going to love. This 8-inch plush is $24.99 and has 22 5-star reviews to back up how cute it is. And lastly, my personal favorite is making a return this year, the Slowpoke Valentine's Day t-shirt. With humor proclaim your love for the holiday by being a Slowpoke and wishing everybody a happy new year. A shirt that keeps on giving, this is the perfect present for a snarky friend who loves to positively troll this holiday season. There's a chance there's going to be more items added this year as well, but so far this is all we have, but check back to NintendoWire.com for more details. We'll update our article as soon as we have any new information on these amazing products. And finally today, a little self-promotion. We have unboxed four amazing Super Mario Odyssey Switch accessories that we imported from PlayAsia. The new video is up right now, but the reason I'm bringing this up right now is we are giving away amazing Switch pouches as well. If you want to win one of these Switch pouches, all you have to do is watch our new video, give us a like, and leave a comment, and that's it. We have a link to that video in the comments down below, or wait until the end of this video, and we'll have an annotation on the screen you can click on and find it there. But honestly, we had a blast unboxing all of this amazing stuff, and we hope you guys like it too. And that's going to wrap up another installment of the Nintendo Wiretap, again, for the evening of January 23rd, 2018. Now, this is one of the longer episodes we've done in a long time. We're testing the water to see what you guys prefer. Do you like the shorter episodes? Do you like more content in a longer format? Let us know down below. We're open to changing some things up in the future, so let us know. Now, before we go tonight, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of our Patreon supporters for helping make this show a reality. The the amount of time it takes to put an episode like this together is quite a long time, especially when they're longer, so honestly your donation really helps us really grow, so thank you for everybody who has supported us now and in the past. If you want to sponsor an episode of the Nintendo Wiretap, you can do so. One of the cooler things is we have a tier that if you donate, will even bring your me onto the show. So if you want that to happen, you can check the link out down below, it'll take you directly to Patreon, or wait until the end of this video and click the annotation on the screen. That's it guys, I'll be back tomorrow with another installment of the Nintendo Wiretap. Thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody very soon. Bye guys.